straight from the White House, North Lawn, Kellyanne Conway, Counselor to President Donald Trump, with me now. And good morning to you, and thank you. Good morning, Bill. Thank you for coming back. I thought Tom Price was oppressive yesterday in his explanation yeah. during the briefing room, and we expect to see more of him. However, you have met the opposition, and the opposition is Republican. When you consider that, Kellyanne, how much of this today is a negotiation with them? Some of it is, and we are certainly open to their concerns and their considerations and their ideas. Um, the president has made it clear, as has the vice president, Bill, this is the plan, but that the president has also used the word negotiation. There's also a process at play here. It's called reconciliation. And everyone knows, as this American Health Care Act makes its way through the normal channels, uh, it probably will be changed somewhat. But the basic principles of it, to really take out root and branch Obamacare, which we've been living with for almost seven years, Bill. I mean, the longer something's been around, the more difficult it is to just, just swipe out those tentacles and start over. But this is a very different plan. I mean, it's repealing and replacing simultaneously. This is the American Health Care Act. It's not the repeal Obamacare Act for a very simple reason. You want to have that replacement in there in quick succession so that people who rely upon coverage don't have a disruption in coverage. You have many Americans who live in what we call Medicaid expansion states, where the governors there went ahead and decided to expand Medicaid through the Affordable Care Act. But let's be very clear what problems we're trying to solve here. You're talking about 1,021 counties right now, roughly a third of the counties across the U.S. that have one insurance provider, one choice, which is a non-choice. You have five states right now where there are no choices. You have uh, an increase in premiums on average across the board, 25%. You have health insurers pulling out of the exchanges, saying it doesn't even make practical financial sense for them to be there. And then you have other uh, health providers saying that Obamacare is, quote, in a death spiral. What this does also is it shifts a government-run, mandated health care system uh, top down to being bottom up so that you have health care okay. savings right. accounts and you control that spending. Maybe, as a you should, maybe you should be in that briefing room. Um, uh, I allowed you to go that far, but you said it can change a bit. Uh, put a percentage on that. Is that 10%? Is That's that 20% of, of what the plan is right now? Right, it's just reconciliation. But look, the, the broader principles will be the same because remember, this is a budgetary. Uh, concern also. So you've talked about, rightly so, the fantastic job Secretary Tom Price has done. I would also give a shout out to Director Mick Mulvaney at OMB, who's been very involved in getting health care, along with Secretary Price, the President, Vice President, over that finish line. And, and, and we have also, spoken to him th yes, this past week. Indeed. Paul Ryan went a step further. Uh, he said this just this week. Watch. We will have 218 votes. This is the beginning of the legislative process. We've got a few weeks. We're. we're We'll have, two, we'll have 218, and when this thing comes to the floor, I can guarantee you that. Does President Trump guarantee it, Kellyanne? President Trump is very confident about the passage of the um, American Health Care Act for many reasons. And just yesterday, here in the White House, he and the Vice President invited in 35 or so whips from the House uh, to discuss this very issue. I happened to attend that meeting. Earlier in the day, Vice President Pence went and talked to Republican senators, went and talked to leadership and, and rank and file in the House. So we are very open to, we'll be having conservative leaders here tonight to discuss uh, health care reform. We are very open to But you're to not hearing... going so far as to say he guarantees it in the well, same this... way that Paul Ryan just did. Well, this is the plan. Oh, no, I am. He knows, no, the president is confident that the American Health Care Act okay. will pass All the right. House so and the Senate Mark and will Meadows. become the law. Mark Absolutely. Meadows is coming up in 30 minutes. He heads up the Freedom Caucus, 30 critical votes in the House. Uh, one of his big issues is lowering costs. What would you say to him 30 minutes before he appears here? What I would say to Congressman Meadows, who I respect enormously, is that Obamacare promised to lower costs, and it did the absolute opposite of that. It exploded costs, and it also exploded premiums and reduced choices, access, and the quality of care. That needs to be fixed. And at some level, there's going to be a binary choice. You're either making good on the promise to repeal and replace Obamacare, or you're not. So we appreciate the, the fact that others are offering their ideas, but this has been worked on over a series of weeks, if not months, and uh, the president and vice president have really taken leadership here. I do want to say that this is a piece of legislation also that has uh, presidential leadership. I mean, he is really husbanding this through. Some people suggested that he be the closer. Some people suggested he be the leadoff batter. The president and the vice president are all in here. This is the American 
Health Care Act and it has their imprimatur, and they yeah. are working if on this more case, than anything day by yeah, day. If that's the case, Sean Spicer was asked numerous times yesterday if we call it Trump Care now. If this passes or when it passes, as you just, uh, described there, is it by any other name, Trump Care? Well, it's the American Health Care Act, and I think it's aptly named for this reason. It wants to cover, it wants everybody to have access to coverage. That just did not happen under Obamacare. It but does you're not away call immediately. It that. I'll call it. I'll call it the Trump Care if you want to, but I don't. I didn't hear uh, President Trump say to any of us, "Hey, I want my name on that." We're happy it's the American Health Care Act. This is serious stuff. This isn't about branding according to someone's name. This is serious business. People in this country feel that their health care has been. Many people feel millions feel like their health care access, quality, and and choices have been significantly reduced, and the costs have gone up. Look, many people, the the, the Obamacare people say. Oh, you know, we allowed more people to to have health care access. If it's unaffordable and you can't afford it, it's worse than not having the choice in the first place. And you know what disappears immediately, Bill? The taxes and the penalties that millions of Americans have been forced to fork over Understood. because, and, and you made because that point people previously. were mandated. Yeah, uh, he said uh, it in the joint listen, session. I'm almost out of time, but there's another significant story today, too, and that's the WikiLeaks story. Can you say to Americans that they can trust that the CIA is not spying on them? So I, what I can say at this point, because I just confer with our national security staff internally, is that uh, we just won't comment on these particular evolving events. I'm going to leave it to them and the briefings they expect to have later this morning, Bill, to really uh, get to the bottom of this yeah, and to understand you, what's can, happening. Can you deny it or not, Kellyanne? I cannot. I, I can't say anything about it at this point. Please come back. Kellyanne Conway Thank from you. the North Lawn. We'll wait their briefing then later today. Appreciate the time. Appreciate we'll it. talk again. Thanks. Thanks, from the North Bill. Lawn.